how y'all doing? This is Born Edmead again from averagesfailure.com. And, you know, recently we've been talking about in the previous videos, and we, we talked about the information that you're getting. Then we also talked about you believing and the, the necessity of believing and how believing is tied into the actions that we actually take toward the goal. And then, you know, the final thing that I want to start the year off with, we're going to get into some in more into more series after this, but I think that this is one of the things that I want to start the year off with, and that is that is all with everything that has been said and done. It's important that you be you. It's important that you be you, because success is very hard to maintain. When you're trying to be somebody else, um, and 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 it's draining when you're trying to be somebody else because you know God has gifted you with with natural or 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 or, 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 or things that are organic to you, personality traits that are organic to you, a certain body type, uh, a certain type of personality, uh, a certain amount of energy. A certain look, even um, he has given you, and he has designed you in, a, in 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 particular ways to be fit for the purpose that he's made you. So you, you remember when I talked about um, when I talked briefly in one of the previous videos about the fact that eagles fly. I'm sorry, eagles soar and pigeons fly. And I spoke to you, and I told you all that you, an eagle's vision allows it to see something like two miles out and its body is designed in such a way to be able to handle the vision that's that's been given to it and pigeons have a different type of vision pigeons visions aren't as strong as eagles and so because pigeons visions aren't as strong as eagles their their, their body design is not designed in such a way to handle having to do the type of work or put their body underneath the type of stress that eagles put their body under right and so the, 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 the reason why I mention that is because you have been designed in a particular way to accomplish a particular purpose while you are here on this earth. And I know for a while, and it doesn't, watch this, I'm not saying that it's not important to have people that you model yourself after. Or, and I'm not saying that it's not important for you to model yourself, model yourself for other people who might be looking to you. Right. But what I'm saying is that be careful not to lose yourself when modeling other people that they're, they're giving you. They should be an example, but you should not be, be trying to become them. So so so. It, and that's so funny. Right. It's, it's interesting because while while God has designed us. Right. God never designed for us to try to be him. Right. He just designed for us to 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 be in close relationship with him. Right. And to take up and, and to pick up on some of his character traits. But he never said, OK, I want you to become God now. Right. Be, become God like. But don't 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 focus on trying to become God. So so I say that because everybody has their place. If I'm trying to be you and there's two of you, well, then the world is missing something because there's something unique about me that adds color to the world that the world is now missing out on. Right. But even but watch this. One of the challenges that I had, especially when I began speaking, is that there were different pastors or there were different motivational speakers that I wanted to be like. And so I tried to sound like them. I tried to do what they do. Right. But I realized that it, 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 it wasn't authentic to me. Right. It, 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 it wasn't me being full of who I was. Now it was good because it was a training ground. And sometimes you might have to model exactly what somebody else is doing because it, it's part of training you up. But at some point you have to realize when training is over and now it's time for you to step into your own particular uh, um, um, style or way of doing doing things, right? And, 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 and that's important because so many of us have lost ourselves because we model what we do based on the latest 
fads that are going on in society. And so whatever the fad is going on in society, that's what we start doing. That's what we become, right? So we so 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 we lose our identity because we want to be just like everybody else. So if everybody in hip hop starts talking about the trap and that they be in the trap or what have you, all of a sudden everybody everybody that listens to hip hop talking about they be in the trap or what have you, blah blah blah. Or or if something's going on on Instagram, you know, social media, um, YouTube, uh, or um, or um, Facebook or what have you, right? Then everybody starts. Um, using the same thing, doing the same thing, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with doing things that are in the similar or within a similar vein, but when you start doing the same exact thing as other people, man, um, one, that becomes boring, one, you, you, you lose your authenticity, right, and then, and then you don't create space for yourself, so, so one of the reasons why, uh, for, for instance, in, in business, one of the things they often tell you is, ask you is, who is your target audience? Right? What like like describe your target audience? Why? Not just your target audience, but what specifically is your message? Because wh what you're trying to do is is give your brand a voice. Why? Because your once your brand has a voice, it becomes distinct from everybody else's voice. And once your brand voice has that distinction, what it allows it to do is it, it allows it to stand out. But when everybody is the same, it makes it difficult for anybody to stand out, right? And this is the thing. If somebody is already having success in a particular area and you try to be just like them, rarely will you ever be able to have the same success that they have because they've already, they've already, um, they've already gotten that market, so to speak, right? They've already made their names known. Anybody else that comes up looks like, oh, they just trying to be like this person. They look like a copycat or what have you. So it's going to be important for you, very important for you, to, to, to hold on to your uniqueness. Figure out what is it about yourself that makes you, you. How can you take the good things that other people are doing? So, okay, so one of the main people that I used to want to be like, or it's, and I used to try to make myself exactly like him was Eric Thomas, right? Because I know Eric personally. Um, I'm lucky to know Eric personally. And Eric has had such a profound impact on the world that it's actually a good thing that I wanted to be and do just like what he was doing. But even Eric had to let myself and some of my peers know and understand, yo, you, 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 you can't do what I do. Because, but then he would say, yo, but I can't do what you all do. So sometimes y'all might want to dress like me. You might want to use the same exact language that I use, but you're not understanding that I got to where I am because I, I was always true to who I was. Did I take on some of the good things? Yes, I took the good things. So, so, and, and, and now I'm talking as me now. So it's what, so now I no longer try to be Eric Thomas, but I do hold on to the good things that I learned from Eric Thomas, such as what? So I realized, okay, you know what? Um, I, I like speaking, right? But I don't have to try to sound like Eric Thomas. I can speak as Vaughn Edmead and have, uh, have impact and effect on the lives of people that I'm speaking to, right? I don't have to dress the way that Eric dressed. Dress, uh, Eric dresses in a particular way that, that, that works for him, but I can dress in a way that works for me. All right. So, so some, so, so my thing is look at, look at, look at what you can do or, 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 or find the good things, find the people, find the mentors, the coaches, whoever it is that you want to model yourself after, but be careful not to be a copycat. Although Kobe Bryant, you know, you could see that he modeled some things after Jordan, Kobe Bryant still developed his own game. Although LeBron James, you know, LeBron, Kobe, Jordan, um, Julius Irving, and uh, Magic Johnson and a bunch of other players, they are all NBA players. They all love the game of basketball. They all understand the fundamentals of basketball, but they all brought their own style to it. So bring your own style to this world, man. We need that thing, right? This world is very boring without us seeing what you have to bring to the table, right? And so I'm so I'm glad that I begun, began to become comfortable with just being me. And I hope that you'll be comfortable this year. I hope that you'll be intentional and believe that who God has designed you to be is more than enough, more than enough, yo. So, so believe that thing, walk that thing out. Remember that average is failure, success is intentional, and character is legendary. Um, do me a favor, if these videos have been helpful to you, um, then subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out, check out, subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
Also, check out the website, averagesfailure.com. You know, I'm really going to be trying to develop that to be a, a, a place where, where you can receive good content that will be impactful and helpful uh, for your life, man. So, um, and by all means, if you have questions that I can answer or address or just thoughts that you want to leave me with, or if you have suggestions for me as to what I can do better, by all means, I'm open all to it. Like, we're going to grow together um, in 2016 and beyond. So, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that you could ever ask or think. Um, and knowing that God is on your side, man, all things are possible to you. So, go out and do the impossible. Peace.